All right. I don't have nothing in my hand. I'm going to act like I'm going to throw something, though. Always works. Oh, <laughs> you ain't no fool. And she is shedding like crazy. I'm just gonna leave the hair, whatever. Hey, what's up guys? Soldier knows best here. So this is my review of the Logitech Ergo K860. And this is an ergonomic keyboard that Logitech has created. And it seems like they release a new product almost every single week. Um, but I'm going to be giving my review of this keyboard straight to the point, nothing too fancy. But I have been using this for a month and I really do like it. So let's talk about it. So first, let's talk about some of those basic Logitech features that we come to expect. So this keyboard can easily easily allow you to switch between multiple different computers or devices. So I have this paired with my Windows gaming computer and also with my Mac that I use for my editing. And so you can pair this with your devices either via Bluetooth or using the unifying USB receiver that comes with the keyboard. And switching between your devices are really simple just by using the three buttons at the top of your keyboard to do that. And this also works with their Logitech Flow software. So if you do have a compatible Logitech mouse, this allows you to simply drag the mouse cursor from one screen over to another another screen of another computer and then now that computer would take control of the mouse and also the keyboard. And all of these software things can be controlled with their Logitech Options software but let's get to the main reason why this keyboard is great and that is the design of it. And you can see it's kind of shaped like a wave in the ocean and so Logitech spent a lot of time trying to find the right angle, the right curves and just really everything with this keyboard to make sure that if you are using this to type for a very long time you're not going to get a lot of stress on your wrist and your hand hands and that's because it does have a very nice significant curve that actually splits up the keyboard into two and it really does look like you can just break a keyboard in half with your bare hands and place it down and it will look similar to this and the folks over at Logitech did tell me that they actually did just break a keyboard in half during their testing phase to kind of get a sense of what they were trying to accomplish with this but yeah they did a lot of testing with a lot of people and I have to say just from my time with it again for a few weeks it is something that is very comfortable and then when you look down on the keys that are right there at the split, you see that some of them do have an extra kind of extended key there. So you can still press that in to activate that particular key, but they did this just to keep everything uniform. So when you are looking down at the keyboard, you don't have things just kind of off to the side here and off to the side there. Everything is still in a straight line on both sides. And you can see that all the way at the bottom, the space bar is split into two as well. But the thing that really makes this keyboard comfortable is the wrist rest. And this is all one solid piece from the keyboard to this rest at the bottom so you can't take it off. But I have to say that this is really the star of the show because it is made out of three different materials, including a high density foam, a memory foam, and then also you have this fabric at the top, which is going to be really easy to clean. And so look, I was recently traveling and I used my laptop just straight on a desk without any type of support for my wrist, and I hated it. It sucked because I was using this for so long. And it's really to the point where, if you really just think about it, if you're just sitting at your desk like this and you have your wrist sitting on the kind of the, the hard edge of a desk, it's not comfortable. It's not something that's very ideal. You wouldn't want to go to sleep on a desk like this, but I would go to sleep on this memory foam, high density foam combination that Logitech has going on here. And I actually joke with them a little bit saying that if they made a pillow out of this material, I would buy it. But um, one thing I do have a concern with is just that it's not removable. So it is just one solid piece with the keyboard. So if you do accidentally you know, like scratch it up, maybe with the, your watch or something randomly, or you really just kind of tear it up somehow, um, you can't really replace it. You have to replace the entire Entire keyboard which could suck. Now don't expect this happening to many people but you never know. Now one of the things that Logitech also talked about is just having the proper posture with the keyboard. So the curve actually helps keep you at a really good upright angle and you want to kind of keep your arms kind of straight going towards the keyboard and you don't want to have them at like angles and things like that because that can cause strain. And something else to help with this is that the keyboard has a couple of pegs on the bottom of the wrist rest so you have kind of a smaller peg to raise it up just a little bit and then you have a larger peg there to kind of raise it up to the highest level and I find with doing this and also kind of another trick to know is that just raising and lowering your chair like that or like 
that ugh, I gained a little weight over the holidays. So doing those things can really make you be able to type for a long time and not really get a lot of that strain as I talked about. Now this keyboard is missing two things and that is a built-in rechargeable battery and also backlit keys. Now with the battery, they elected to run this off of two AAA batteries that will last you two years, which is a long time. But with the backlit keys, depending on the lighting situation in your environment, this may or may not be a deal breaker for you. But for me, I would have liked to seen this at least as an option, maybe another keyboard that just has this feature inside of it, especially since they offer it on things like their Logitech Slim Folio Pro iPad Pro case. But for right now, it looks like they just elected to go with longevity as far as the battery life. But what you do get is a keyboard that is super comfy to use for a long time. And I do like the keys on this keyboard and the travel distance is about what Logitech has been doing recently. Not too much, not too little, just right there in a good sweet spot. And again, the biggest thing you just have to get used to is just the layout of the keys, which can take a little time, but I will bet that for most people, it will start to feel natural faster than you think. And then also too, you still get a full numpad here and then you have a bunch of different function buttons at the top of the keyboard that work especially well with Macs. And then if you do pair this keyboard with some of the other ergonomic devices that Logitech sells like the MX Ergo mouse or also the MX Vertical mouse, it's really gonna allow you to sit at your computer for a long time without feeling a lot of discomfort. So yeah, I like this keyboard and I even used it when I was doing some gaming sessions that lasted for around two and three hours. And this really isn't targeted towards gamers because it doesn't have a lot of those features and it was just the fact that I was able to sit there for that long and not do one of these moves I know we've all done this where you're kind of shaking out your wrist a little bit I didn't have to do that so look I can definitely recommend this keyboard it's not the flashiest but it definitely gets your job done allowing me to sit there and edit or game for a long time so I'll leave a link down below so you can check out this keyboard for yourself and this is my review but I do want to know what you think about it leave your comment down below and also make sure you do subscribe and hit that notification bell and like always I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace. <laughs> all right. All right. I know. I know. I'm going to take you out in a little bit. I know. I know. All right. Okay. This is what I have to deal with. <laughs>